the reduction. So it, it is maintained after reduction of the, I mean, after removal of the clamp. The nail should reach up to the lower border or mid part of the lesser trochanter. That's the ideal length of the nail. Or we can even go slightly longer, but this is an ideal length. Good reduction. Uh, length is maintained, axis and rotations maintained, both in AP as well as lateral view. The nail is well seated, buried. It's not proud there. Two good screws distally, <clears throat> one spiral blade and the other uh, locking board. So that's a proper way of uh, doing a retrograde femoral nail. Uh, this was an elderly patient, even then you know, we could do this. Even though it was a spiral oblique in a slightly obese patient, we can very well do this. How do you rehabilitate this patient? Now with good contact of the bony surface, we can allow them to immediately bear weight and walk with the help of a walker from next day. Hip and knee and ankle range of movements are allowed from day one.